2024 clear revelation and prophecies last two years we released some prophecies we saw all of them come to pass last year the same thing we saw all of them come to pass this year the lord opened my eyes and i traveled in the realm of the spirit he released almost close to 50 things that are about to happen in 2024 but i decree in the name of jesus that no negative news will come your way amen if there is any negative news we will avert them in the name of jesus amen that is why there are prophecies so you can prepare your way for the coming year and you know how to plan the year number one in the realm of the spirit i got a directive to call all nigerians to pray against repeated plane crash this 2024 particularly in abuja port harcourt lagos and akwaibo i saw series of plane crash this 2024 but i decree we will not lose our lost loved ones amen god will intervene amen number two i saw open gay marriage and i heard that it will be seen in the nooks and crannies of nigeria like never before even the law enforcement agencies will be too busy with fresh back-to-back -back tensions and happenings that they will not give attention to this case i see it happening in rampant form this 2024 number three watch out for a clash of world powers in the realm of the spirit i see serious disagreement with these giants i saw israel usa china and russia among the countries or among these great countries that we go into dispute with one world power one other world powers if care is not taken third world war may break out this year 2024 and the battle will be technology based not necessarily a gunpowder battle number four i see fewer price crashing down in the few coming months as well as other crude byproducts watch out for yourselves and see how many who are the cause of this hike how they will be swallowed in their own deception wisdom and schemes you will be alive to see this Amen. number five in the realm of the spirit i had to tell exactly the three notable higher institutions in port Harcourt to pray against serious back-to-back -back loss of their academic staff ranging from the top without mentioning the names of these universities in port Harcourt, i mean to resound this again pray pray again for the academic staffs of these higher institutions in port Harcourt. number six major markets in lagos kaduna kano and river states may be shut down by fire disaster i here to tell stakeholders to be careful and cautious most fire outbreak that you may see happening in fires this year may seem physical but there is a destructive spirit that must be resisted by traders in these locations mentioned number seven what seems like a communal tribal war politically engineered is about to breed up in lagos in the realm of the spirits and an irreplaceable or irreparable loss may be recorded in if the needful is not done this kind may not have been witnessed before the voice of peace cries out from the soul and the heart of lagos those whose loved ones dwell in lagos those who are living in lagos are here pray pray and pray so that the once loved cherished and enjoyed peace in lagos will not diminish number eight i see that senate house declaring more than three seats vacant this year eight b this man was a was once a governor and now in the national assembly his name with her i will not call the name he is among the three names that will be waved goodbye from the national assembly this year 2024 number nine i see a serious calamity 
befalling a particular man who has made it a job to always correct God and correct the Bible. His name with head. He's a pastor. He has made it a job to always correct God and correct pastor. He's all over the social media. He is near global humiliation and disintegration if he does not change this year. Number 10. In the realm of the spirit, I see a sect coming up that wishes to give the federal government an unrest. I see in the realms of the spirit that this group might be more deadly than Boko Haram. And they may be deadly than what Boko Haram used to be. Pray for the wisdom of God to rest upon Nigerian leaders, upon Nigerian president and the governors to know what to do at the right time. God will save this country at the right time in the name of Jesus. Amen. 11. In the realm of the spirit, my prophetic ears were made open and I was asked by the Lord to tell you this. When the country rumbles, when it looks as if the particles of this turmoil got a bit to you, the Lord says that one thing with which you can use to overcome when this turmoil comes and you stand out in 2024 is the word of your testimonies and prayers of faith not mixed with fear. He said, always remember how I delivered you over and over for I will not forsake you. Believe me, there will be trying times coming this year. Believe me again, I say it again. There will be trying times coming this year. Most likely it may look as in some areas that some people will need to relocate to their villages. But God says, I should tell you when this time comes, don't forget how I saved you because the words of your testimony is what will deliver you. Number 12, may my prophetic eyes be open. And I saw this white popular evangelist and preachers that affected Africa so much in a position that needs intensified prayers by the church this 2024. I hear pray for Dr. Mike Mudok. I hear pray for T.T. Jakes. I hear pray for Pastor Ben in here. I hate to sound negative, but I am I'm only a prophet that delivers messages that we all have seen come to pass in time past. Now, this vision I saw concerning them this year calls for serious prayer. Pray for them if you love them. I see pray for them. I repeat again, pray for them. The news around them is not friendly, but pray for them. 13. I see a possible attack on the personality of a notable preacher that might incapacitate him and lead to his possible demise he is based in the south south i will not mention his name on this record but i see this preacher from this south south let me be very clear he is from potakot here i see a massive attack on him that might incapacitate him and make him not see the end of 2024 but pray for him in case you are wondering wow what this man is saying he's just reading from the books He's just talking what he knows. Go back to YouTube 2021. Go back to YouTube 2022. We came out here, read at eyeball to eyeball from this altar, and you all saw it fulfilled back to back. And all the fulfillment are also in this in the YouTube there. Now I am not speaking mere mortal words. These we are revealed to me in my night hour visions. And most of them, prayers can abate them. Most of them, you can't abate them. Most of them, some prophecies can be abated, but you only pray for exemption. God exempt me when this thing happens. Are you hearing me now? 14. In the realms of the spirit, I perceive a politically engineered unrest yet again, about to play out that will almost cause a state of emergency in River State. I see government house area needing serious prayers. I see difficulty in that area. It went to a situation where people could not pass through. If care is not taken, vacancy may be declared in, in that area. So please pray for River State if you love River State. 15. At a moment, it looked like bomb blasting has ceased from these northern states. But I see a serious return. I see innocent blood crying out for help. The federal government is by this prophecy to put on alert by intensifying security to avoid burning down of buildings, to avoid burning down of institutions, burning down of churches and sites. We are innocent worshippers, students once gather. 
These things are not to tell you that evil is coming. These things are to tell you to pray against evil. These things are to tell the government agencies, to tell leaders, to sit up and do what is the needful. Number 16. I saw that the Senate president needs urgent intervention in prayers. On a Wednesday, I saw him in the news not befitting his office. He needs God's help seriously. Let's uphold that office in prayer. There is no mortal human on earth that does not need prayer. So he particularly indeed needs prayer this 2024. 17. In the realm of the spirit, I had to declare that three ministers in this political dispensation are on 2024 faith calendar. One would sit the year, the, the year end because he needs urgent prayer. And if that prayer is not given, he may not see the year end. One will be seriously humiliated and the other will lose the office. These three can be averted by prayers. But the problem is that one of these ministers have seen himself as a God who no one can correct. 18. I heard the sound of release in the realms of the spirit. It will be a year of massive flourishing. May this be your portion. For the dogged, I said may this be your portion. It might look as unbecoming as usual, but there are many vacancies in highly placed position. In the health sector, there is a vacancy. In the economic sector, there is a vacancy. In the Nollywood, there is a vacancy. In churches, in government parastatas, I hear the sound of urgent divine replacement. Leaders of tomorrow, leaders of tomorrow, when will we be leaders of tomorrow? Many youths, God says, I should tell you, there will be an urgent replacement in the realm of the spirit. Where you thought that there will be no replacement god will look at you and single-handedly pick you are you hearing me now because i see an urgent divine replacement number 19 the current king of england needs urgent prayer i think the england has a king now not a queen the the current king of england needs urgent prayer and divine intervention in the realm of the spirits i saw him in a negative and heartbreaking news this 2024 pray for him number 20 I perceive a red smoke from the lawmaking arms. In the realms of the spirit, I see a serious uproar in three different houses of assembly of three different states and a serious uproar in one of the houses of the National Assembly. I don't know if it's the Senate or is the lower chamber. This has happened before, I know, no doubt. But this time coming in 2024 will shake the foot of the nation. Nations and people will cry out and many will take a bow out of such offices. Mother Earth, if, and Mother Earth, if care is not taken. I see many people in this Agbada, in this Captain, some of them in suits, I see them fighting in these assemblies. May God save this nation. Pray for wisdom in these national and state assemblies in the name of Jesus. 21. What seems like a natural disaster will hit some African countries this year. They may look at first like disaster, but I heard in the realm of the spirit that they would be triggered by some first and second world countries. These things, when they happen, you may think they are natural disasters, but they are human triggered. They are human triggered. I see some African countries, they will see, we have not seen this kind of disaster before. It is not natural. They are human triggered. Number 22. My prophetic ears were opened. I heard a serious sound of collapse of a school in Nigeria. When I woke up from this vision, it was the cry of innocent children under the debris. Please, all schools must carry out some tests on their buildings starting this January 2024. Last year, I made a prophecy like this. I said I saw a church breaking down and I saw 50 people crying out. Some people say it's one of those things. It was not up to the fifth. Five days after reading it, after all of you saw it, a church building collapsed. Exactly it was counted. It was 50 people, like I said on this altar. Hear me, schools, check out for your buildings. Check out for your foundation. This video is recorded because it's going worldwide. Check out for your foundation. Don't put children, people's children at risk. Number 23. Reverse needs more prayers 
that she can get between January, February, and March. I hear pray, pray again, and pray. Number 24, I heard in the realm of the spirit, I'm reading like this till 49 or 50, God will grant me grace. I heard in the realm of the spirit to warn that there would be a massive protest which could lead to town riots engineered by angry youths this year. I see in the realm of the spirits we are youths in Abuja, River State, Lokoja, Plateau, Lagos, and Jigawa march the streets of their different cities in different times and different modes. But all we are caused by almost the same thing. Leaders, governors, assembly members, please lead with some wisdom. Enact some laws with some wisdom. This 2024, some people, their eyes, they red. Don't join to make their eyes redder than it has been. 25. In the realm of the spirits, I saw serious casualties because of ethnic war around the north. I see two ethnic groups out of the Wazobia disagree. Before the military stepped in, I saw in this vision lives we are lost. The executive arm is by this juncture given a prophetic call to sit up and do the needful. If you watch my prophecies, I don't just prophesy. As I say it, I give possible, possible solution. I give what? Possible solution. God cannot say it in and not give solutions to it. God cannot say it in and give what? And not give what? Solution. So please bring that to one of these black seats. When God says it in, he gives possible solution. He gives what? Possible solution. Number 26. In the realms of the spirits, I saw one of the Nigeria's top five music stars wave goodbye to Mother Earth. As a matter of fact, I saw the name. I saw his picture. I saw his video. But I can't call his name. If you call that kind of name in this kind of video, you can be sued. If anything happens to that person, you can be sued. So as a prophet, we are very careful in releasing prophecy. But pray. I repeat again, in the realms of the spirit, I saw one out of Nigeria's top five music stars wave goodbye to Mother Earth. I see many fans cry so much that they refuse to eat for days. They refuse to eat for days. They cry for one of these music stars. When you count five top most in Nigeria, one of them. This 2024. As a matter of fact, it's not far. 27. In the realm of the spirit, I saw two former governors in Nigeria and a former president going home. Former president starting from letter B. Another president with another letter. Former, I see them waving goodbye. One really helped Nigeria. He stood in gap between Nigeria and Israel. I see them waving by goodbye. A former governor and a former president. 28. I have a prophetic message for the PDP. God says I should tell them to pray so well for both their national chairman and their working committees. I stop it there. This is not a negative news. I'm very careful. You can't sue me to court. I said in the realm of the spirit, two of us want to sue me, go and sue the spirits. So I am telling you, if you want to learn from, you know some people, they, know, they want to make problems. I've seen people. Do you know that last year God told me not to release? I released the prophecy here, but don't put it online. When I talked about Peter be not winning, I'm giving you the reason why he didn't. Did you know that the time is so short? Can you remember? It was recording like this year. I told you Peter will not win. And I told you the cost, two of us. And I also said, God says don't put it online. If I had put it online, I don't know if I would still be in ministry by now. Because you know the heat Nigeria was coming with by that time. Some prophets were arrested if your ears were opened. Some prophets were arrested. Some of them we are just released now. This one God said put online. Nothing here that can cause such issues. All the prophecies here is to tell the Nigerian government, to tell some state government, and to tell some world this is the area you need to pray about. So God says put this one online. I said I'm reading about 50. Which number am I now? 29. Some of you are writing. You can't write all. Oh, just enter YouTube and watch later. Number 29. I hear that Kogi should pray against serious disaster. I hear ear tickling news. 
an orchestration that destabilizes peace this year. I heard in the realms of the spirit to ask the leaders of the state to pay attention to the unternet cries and yearnings of women and youth. This is 2024. My God, this is to 11. This is to 11. I'm going to run more faster. 13. Ghana, Cameroon, and South Africa must watch, must be watchful and stand strongly against anything that might lead to massive loss of innocent lives. I saw a trying time coming upon them this 2024. 31. I see the disgrace and fall of a former governor who is a minister in 2024. Serious disgrace. 32. I used to be, or it used to be pastors attacking fellow pastors and prophets fighting against prophets. But in this 2024, I see a major war amongst notable apostles in Nigeria and Africa. I see two very notable apostles in Nigeria and a prophet from Africa seriously disgraced as one of them goes missing out of the scene this year due to a call home or self retreat after the public assault 33 there will be a massive boom and success stories for entrepreneurs this year may that be your portion in the name of jesus 34 another prison break looms in the realm of the spirit i saw it happening in a way that inmates will get help even from the unexpected i see this becoming so rowdy that many law enforcement officers will go down for it 35 i see the number two becoming number one i didn't call the country i didn't call the states but i see the number two becoming number one on a friday i will tell you when this comes to pass on a friday this in 2024 number 35 7 30 what now number 36 in the realm of the spirit i saw that israel is about to witness a serious shake this only aims to pull god's people back to god israel will still win at the last but they will experience shake this 2024 37 in the realm of the spirit i saw this great man of god in lagos and in the south south two of them in lagos and in south south one losing his life and the other lost his wife name with her please pray for your pastors it was a call home 38 in the realm of the spirits i saw many nigerian youths abroad changing the narrative and making their motherland proud may this nigerian youth make our country proud in the name of jesus number 39 putin and king need their own showers of prayers and intervention i heard it clear clearly pray for them number 40 there are some prophecies that need some dissections and explanation that i can't explain but when they fulfill we take time to explain them better number 40 the government of ondo and delta must pray hard i see a very negative news flash that disturbs the hearers from that state they should pray hard and peace will reign in that state in the name of jesus number 41 i see potakot mourning one of her beloved music star this year please pray number 42 i hear the sound of a gas station explosion exploding and rocking different corners of the nation government that wishes to protect the lives of our citizens must ensure these gas companies are maintaining safety me safety measures and are not operating within residential landscapes this loss is massive but can be stopped before it happens number 43 I saw strongly in the realm of the spirit that two governors may not make it to the end of this year 2024 one is happening around the first half of this year another governor is also about to be sacked by the court from his office number 44 many prophets have prophesied that the military is taking over nigeria this 2024 well i am here to tell you from a more authentic spiritual source that no such thing will happen this year no military is taking over nigeria this 2024 this is a, demo a democratic states by spirit and by every ramification but if it will happen god will open our eyes to see it but i didn't see anything happening like that in 2024 number 45 i see the eastern part of the nation rejoicing at the release of their long locked up son and hero this man has been locked up for long from the east he's a hero from the east but he will be released at some agreements 
some agreement but i see his release in 2024 number 46 some political high-ranking universal powers are perfecting another ammunition like c-o-v-i-d i don't want to mention the name so this video won't be blocked they are they are you know what c-o-v-i-d is now they are doing something that is looking like that that they want to release again with which they will use to put the word again at a standstill this time it could be a virus or a technology-based invention that will make many this year almost unable to assess what belongs to them until they concede to their times this is not far from 666 it will be in a codified form that if you not agree to their standards now there are some vaccines if you don't take it you can't travel out of this country two of us now another form is coming that this time around if you don't agree to that standard you may not be able to buy any goods and you may not be able to withdraw your money but god will save his own i said god will save his own number 40 what 47 this is the most prophetic year to stay ready with an air rapture whether you like it or not, Jesus is coming soon. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Whether you like it or not. And this is one of the years you must prepare for rapture. I did not say rapture is happening in 2024. And I did not say that it will not happen in 2024. All I said is what? Be ready. Be ready. Jesus is what? Coming soon. Be ready. Jesus is what? Coming soon. Number 48. The current Pope should be prayed for. What I saw around him can only be changed by God's mercy. There is a thick dark cloud that must be prayed for and lifted. Number 49, finally. In the realm of the spirit, I saw a big name church. And I also saw another branch of this big church in Nigeria shouting for help. I saw many suffocating. I couldn't tell if it was fire or collapse of building but i heard the case of hell shall not prevail churches please maintain high safety precautions maintain what high safety precautions because what i see around churches this year i see a major church fire outbreak another one is a branch of a major church what i saw around them was people crying under something shouting May God save us in the name of Jesus. The man seated at the back, you are wearing black. God says, I should tell you that he will save you from a strange bullet. Am I making sense? He will save you from a strange bullet. I don't know where that strange bullet is coming from. This same year, he will save you from a strange bullet. I don't know where that bullet is coming from. I don't know. Sir, God says, I should tell you that anything that they have stolen that belongs to you in 2024 he will give it to you i said he will give it to you two of you which of you is from the east you are from the east you are from the middle what rivers rivers but that you are from the east god says i should tell you the wealth you will touch will shake nation the wealth you will touch will shake nation when god said Quinet, god says i should tell you that you should be ready what he needs to do with you is coming as a test he needs you more before you what you need from him can be given to you he said what he needs you more before what what i am telling you what i want to tell you i don't want to say it openly so that the enemy cannot destroy it but i see you celebrating after service ask me pastor what is that thing you saw that you can't say in the open the enemy will not destroy it in the name of jesus i gave prophecies like this last year and it came fulfilling left right center as i'm giving you god will fulfill it in the name of jesus princess where is your daddy is he outside he's coming later he's coming later there is an opening for your father to relocate abroad i don't know if i may forget before he comes there is an opening for him to do what relocate abroad are you hearing me now god will make it come to pass in the name of jesus it's not only you that prophecy is rubbing off on clinton too clinton i see an opening that will take you abroad i see an opening that will take you abroad i don't say what god did not tell me as i'm saying it on this altar god is saying it it will come to pass in the name of jesus 
I said it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. You too, if I say you go abroad, all of you go don't finish. But I see favor coming from abroad. I see massive favor coming from abroad. I see massive favor coming from abroad. Blessing, God gave you something this year that he did not take. And he said, I should ask you, why didn't you take it? He made you a madam of your own this year. I saw it manifesting, but I didn't know. One way or the other in the realms of the spirit, he did not take it. See, I don't come on this altar to joke. When I say something, I know I say it from the realms of the spirit. I gave Ugo Best a prophecy that something massive was about to happen. When, you, when I mean something massive, I really mean something massive. I gave it to him in this church. I mentioned that between here and Florida, I'm dedicating a shop, two of us. Last three months, I went to dedicate a shop. The same point, as if I saw the shop. And as a matter of fact, it's the most finest shop from here to Florida. Already made and kept for him. Today, after service, I went to dedicate his two-bedroom flat. If you, enter, if you enter the house, you will envy him. I want to give a general prophecy. This is 11, I have one hour. But I want to give a general prophecy. In 2024, you will not miss it. I decree again in 2024, you will not miss it. Bring out that thing you wrote and stand up to your faith now. I'm sure you have heard everything Pastor Makmurako have to say concerning our country, Nigeria. I'm sure that you listen to every damn thing he, he has said about our country. You see, I keep saying this thing that we need to pray for, for Nigeria. We need to pray for Nigeria because I've looked at it, I've analyzed it, I've just, I've thought about it. The country really needs prayer. The country needs prayer because I don't know why things are not really working in the country. I don't understand why our leaders are so strong-hearted. I don't understand why the people that are supposed to be serving us are acting as if we are supposed to be serving them. I don't understand why they cannot decide to fix this country once and for all. If you ask me, I don't understand. I don't understand it. Go look at the way the country is going and it's like they are not shaking, they are not feeling anything. No matter what the men of God have said, nothing. No matter how much the, the, the people have cried, they are not doing anything about it. Why? Please, if you know why, let me know in the comment section. Because me, I've tried to understand it, but I cannot just wrap my head around it. Why these people, they are like this? Every time we are hearing that this will happen, this will happen. And if you follow Pastor McMiracle's track record, you see that most of his prophecies, they come, they come to pass. So look at this, look at series of events, the series of events that have played out just in this year, 2024 alone. Just imagine. That I, I said it in, in my previous video that if you do, if you are not strong, eh, if you don't have strong heart, if you if if, if you are not built very well, eh, you will not be able to survive in this country, Nigeria. You will not be able to. And that is why when we leave this country to another place, we accept. Because there is nothing that will happen in that country that we have not seen before. Nothing, nothing. There is nothing in this our eyes have not seen. So when we go out there, we accept because of the hardship. But that does not mean that they should be. They, 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 they want to suffocate us in this country. The leaders, these politicians, greedy people. So please, I want to urge us. You have listened to everything Pastor Makunaka have said to be happening. The one that needs to be prayed about, let us pray about it. Eh? I am begging us. I know that we say Nigeria don't need prayer. If you follow the way Nigeria is doing it, eh, you will not want to pray for this country. The country, in fact, the country needs sanitization. I've said it that we need to fumigate and sanitize the country. That is what we need now. Because I don't understand why the country is... Look, eh? Oh, I just... The one reason I know that God sent this on this country eh, is that some, if some country face half of what we are facing, eh, they will not be able to stand. But we have been going through all the things that these politicians have been throwing at us, all the mess up they have been, been creating in this country, and we are still here, alive and strong. Though some people have died, but I'm telling you that if some countries go through half of what we are going through, majority of them will be wiped out. But we just thank God that we are here. And that is why always I encourage us that we pray for our country. It's not because we are enjoying the situation of the country. It's not because things are going on well. It's not because we love everything that we are seeing. It's not because we plan for this type of life. But we need to be praying for the country, for God to at least help us 
fix this country because at this point in time i feel that it is only god that can help us fix the country i don't understand every time one problem to another every time one problem to another every time and the thing is if the youth if the people complain let me not even say the youth if the people complain <laughs> nothing is happening if people complain, nothing is happening. Before I even just continue, just listening to what this, uh, 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 what this, uh, our fellow Nigerians are saying. Just listening, you, you just listening to how bitter most of them are. They, nobody is happy in the country again. I just want you to listen to what these people have to say about our country to tell you how bad it is. Listen to, just listen, listen. Not to, not to slaughter them. <laughs> Eh, we know play make them they alive. Now to wipe all those eh, all these illegal Ogoni people they work for all this Niger Nigeria. They say hunger too much. Mm. Hunger, come on, Gary, where person go carry Gary put for water drink. Gary cause, yeah, low low cause. He shot everything, nothing there normal. We all know that. I don't know of other states, but in my states there are houses that for a good four or five days they cook nothing and they sleep on nothing and they feed on nothing people now go out to beg even those that are not supposed to beg now go out to beg i'm sure you have heard it for yourself everybody is everybody is frustrated and tired everybody is frustrated and tired yet they got the government will see all this thing, you know, but they will do nothing about it the government has seen, they will not tell me that they are not seeing it, they are seeing every damn thing, but they have decided that they will not do anything about it. They have decided that instead of they will fix this country, Nigeria, that they will, that let all of us die. You can see how frustrated the people are sounding. You can see. Yet, you, you ask them, our, one of our lawmakers, Abi, our deputy, what, 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 in the house of Fred, they uh, said that, uh, uh, what, what was he even saying? That they, they, they will reduce their salary uh, uh, by, by half for six months. Then after six months, what next? And just listen, listen to what this man is saying. Just listen to him. I'm moving that we amend that prayer to include that members sacrifice uh, maybe 50% of our salary for a period of three months or six months to help Nigerians and to show that we are in support. Uh, I so move, Mr. Speaker. I hope you have heard what he said. Now the question is, after six months, what next? These are the people that are supposed to be serving us. They are acting as if they are doing us a favor. Let us pray about everything Pastor Makurako have said. Let us pray. Because at the end of the day, if we don't pray about it, the country will continue to move backward. The country will continue to remain stagnated. They will continue to suffer in the country. We will continue to go through this hardship. We will continue to beg like we are beggars in our own father's land. Enough is enough. If you are not tired, me, I'm tired. These politicians really have to stand up and start doing things for us. Look at how frustrated our people are. Look at it. I watched another uh, interview of uh, uh, where they were asked, talking to uh, uh, our fellow Nigerians about the things going on in the country. Just listening to what they are saying, one cup of garlic, 300 naira. Some people are saying it's 300, some people are saying it's 250, some people are saying it's two. Just listen. Just pay attention. I know why I'm showing you all these things, so that you understand the reason why we need to pray. Just listen. Today, we are on the streets of Lagos to ask Nigerians what are their experiences with the high cost of living as well as their coping mechanism. I am Olua Shem Mohammed. It has not been easy uh, since uh, the drastic change that took place in Nigeria. Talking about the, the increase in fuel, you know, before you can just uh, run, go to a filling station, get fuel and smile away. But nowadays, it seems they the money is increasing every day. Every day you go, the pump price has jumped up. And uh, anytime you get it, you get angry with yourself. You get angry with the country. But if you look at the problem in the country, you will wake up, you will sleep with sadness and wake up with sadness. We are coping hard. Too hard. Too over ourselves in coping. No. But you don't even know what to call about that coping. The coping is not easy. But no matter how it is, we're going to thank God. The way we eat before, we cannot eat again now. 
You used to eat three times. Now, Seb, I need to eat two times. That very hard to eat two times. So. I can say I'm surviving by the grace of God. It's God's grace that's keeping me. I'm sure you have heard it. So after hearing all these things now, you say you will not pray about the country, eh, brother? Sister, you say you will not pray about this country until we die because you want to weaken the police. See, eh, um, let us do well to pray for this, for our country. Let us do well to pray for our country. And I believe that everything is going to get well again. Not despite all the hardship that we are seeing right now, everything is going to get well again. Earlier this year, so even Papa Deboye mentioned it, that a wave, a wind will blow, and then things will become hard, and then things will become better. If you have learned it, just listen to where Papa Deboye said it. Listen. You can write this in capital letters. The wind is blowing. So you should include in your prayer that the wind will blow you, you good. Mm. Because the wind is blowing. It's already blowing. You, you can't stop the wind. As far as Nigeria is concerned, my beloved children, things will get worse before it gets better. Mark my word. That's what Daddy says. We're already complaining that things are hot. Huh? The good news is the wind is already blowing. As it's going to get a bit hotter before it begins to cool down. I'm sure you have heard it. I know why I'm letting you watch all these things so that you will understand that no matter what we are facing through right now, if we can come together and pray about all these things, everything is going to be better. Nigeria will be better again. Nigeria will be greater. Nigeria will be bigger. Papa Debo have said it, that things will be hard, then things will not become better. I know you may not like him. You may not say you will say oh, he is not saying anything about it. But at least he, he he has said it. I'm not telling you to like him. I'm just showing you this so that you will have hope and believe. You have heard everything Pastor Mark Miracle have said. The next thing we need to do is to pray about it. Join me to pray about this country. Let us pray. Nigeria is the only country we have. I don't know about you, but me, I don't have another country. I don't have dual citizenship anywhere. This is my country. And I will do the little I can to make sure that this country pro make progress, that this country moves forward. So I am begging you, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria, please. Yes, you are angry. Your anger is understandable. You have every right to be angry. But let us not get to the angry, let us not get angry to the point that we forget to pray or we neglect to pray about our country. This is our country. I am begging us. Look at all the things Pastor Mark Miracle have said. Are you going, are we just going to sit down and fold our hands and say, let these things happen? The good ones he said will, he will, it will happen, let us pray that it happens. But you see those bad and ugly ones, let us pray that God flushes it out from our, our country. Please, I am begging us, even though you want Nigeria to divide, at least for now, let us try to pray and do whatever we can to make sure that this country at least will remain as one and fix the country. Then later, we cannot talk, we cannot talk about division. I am begging us. I am begging us. I am not enjoying what is going on in the country. I myself am not enjoying what is going on in the country. I'm not enjoying it. You hold 10,000 naira, you can't you can buy anything. You hold 50,000, you can buy. Sometimes I will sit in the room and want to cry because it's like you are making money, the money is going. You, the money is wasting. It's like you don't know what... He, I don't, please, let us do well to pray for our country. We need to fix this country as fast as possible, even though you not do it for yourself. Let us do it for our unborn children. 
Let us do it for, 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 for posterity. Let us do it for the next generation. Let us pray. Let us pray. And I will plead with all pastors, all our spiritual leaders, because I know, I keep saying this thing, that if Papa E.A. Adeboye, Papa Yedebo, Dr. Paul Enenche, all these God's generals that we have in Nigeria, they decide to come together as one and pray for this country. I am telling you with all certainty that God will answer them. But it's like we have a Christian Association of Nigeria. We have never seen them come together to pray. I know that all of you pray individually in your church. But can't Pastor Chris and all the rest, all of you come together and pray? Are you telling me that God will not answer all these people? Please, I am begging us. I am begging us. Let us pray for our country. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. If I need done, you will not see you will not see me because of the way the camera is positioned. Else I would have net done. Else I would have net done. Else I would have net done to beg God that will pray for, for our country. In fact, let me know that. Please. Please I am begging us. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer. No matter what you think, no matter what you believe, at this point in time, people are suffering, people are dying, people are hungry, people are starving. Please, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. I beg you, I beg you, put aside your political affiliation, put aside your tribe, put aside religion, put aside everything. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Please, Nigeria needs you, Nigeria needs me, Nigeria needs everybody. Look how hard things are in the country. Just look at, hmm? look at the way things are going. Look at price of tomato. Look at price of onion. Look at price of pepper. Are we going to continue like that? Are we going to continue like that? People are hungry. The government is not doing anything about it. You complain, they will not move. You, you cry, they will not shake. Why not let us call unto the one, the I am that I am, the omnipotent and omniscient redeemer. The one who is, and who was, and who is to call them everlasting. He said, call unto me, all ye that carry every burden. He said, I will give you rest. Let us pray to him. He can give us rest in this country. Because we don't have rest here. Especially if you're a believer. The Bible says we are the light of the world. That we are like a city that is built upon a hill that can never be hidden. Let us shine our light. Let us do all we can do. I am begging us. Have faith. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all the heart and lean not in your own understanding. Some of you may want to insult me, but you may not know the reason why I am saying we should pray. I am begging us. Please, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. And I believe that as we pray, that everything is going to be okay. Nigeria will be better, Nigeria will be greater, Nigeria will be bigger. I know so. I believe so. I have no doubt that this country, Nigeria, will be better again. But you have to play your role. I play my role. Every other person play their role. If the government have said that they will not do anything, that they want all of us to die of hunger and starvation, let us take their case to God. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can think or ask for according to the power that is at work in us. Yes, Kenya did it and it worked. Nigeria is not Kenya. I'm not saying we should not go and protest. Yes, on the day, any day they fix protest, I will be out there to protest. But in as much as we are as long as we are in as much as we are doing the physical part, let us not neglect the spiritual part because life is more spiritual than physical. Life is more spiritual than physical. The spiritual controls the physical. Before anything will move in this physical, it, it must first of all be moved in the spiritual. So please, I am begging us, let us do what we can do to save our country, Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, so whenever I post another video, you will be notified. If you are a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. Please don't forget, like and drop a comment. So well, by doing this, you trigger the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend the video to more people. Please, I am begging us. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. It is important. It is vital. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. I beg you, please.
join me in, on this mission to pray for our country, Nigeria. I announced it here that I will be starting a live session. I was supposed to, I, I, will, I will give us the, the particular date, but when immediately I said it in one of the videos, somebody started abusing me. But what are we going to do? I love Nigeria. I want the country to do well. The same way I love you, I want you to do well. I want you to be happy. I want you to live peacefully in your father's land, in Nigeria, in our country. That is why I'm so much interested in, in the peace and unity of this country. So I'm begging us, let us do whatever we can do to assist this country to move forward. The politicians, they, I don't know what, they, what their, their problem is, why they are so wicked. But I know that God is going to intervene. He is going to help us. He will not let us remain like this. God will not continue. If we, as long as we keep praying and calling him, he will not let us remain like this. He will not. I know him. I trust him. He will not. And I need you to trust him too. Have faith that he is going to bring us out of this, this bitter situation. Just have that faith. Have that faith. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share the video on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next video. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.